Hey, Mind Move Manifest here. I want to talk about a simple solution for using your higher faculties to overcome problems. It's been really common recently that um, just two close, well, two people that I know have come to me and say, um, you know, I've had this problem in life that's just boom, just pounced right on my head. And when that happens, it becomes all consuming. And what that does is it causes all these emotions and these negative emotions. Unless we're in, equipped with how to deal with that, then it just starts this downward spiral in people's lives. So if you've ever had that happen where life just kind of comes and sits on top of your head and causes you a bunch of grief and it seems like it takes forever to get out of it, I'm going to give you a solution right now for how to get out of it, how to get out of it in a really much faster uh, fashion, a much faster way using the faculties that we have. We have higher faculties that we don't talk about. We live through our senses, see, hear, smell, taste, touch. And we've been taught to live through those senses. We've been programmed to live through those senses. But we have higher faculties, perception, will, memory, reason, imagination, and intuition. And right now, I'm going to talk to you about using perception, imagination, reason, and your will, and how to create solutions for you in your life in any problem that you may be facing right now. Just flip the script and start thinking solution. First off, start off by understanding that there is a solution to every problem. There absolutely is. And once you open that up inside of you, you open the door to that for that coming to you. You realize that there is a solution for you. Become receptive for that and begin to work from that point of view. Not like this work is futile, like, oh, this stuff isn't going to work. I'll just do it, but it's not going to work. Because that's what's going to show up for you if that's what you're thinking. But once you flip it, you open up the door to that. Think like this. If you were ever a kid and you couldn't figure out a problem on your homework and you said, okay, I can go to the teacher after school and they'll show me how. And then you sat and you were waiting for the teacher to show you how to do something that you didn't know how to do. And then all of the sudden, you understood what it was that you were supposed to do. If you've ever done that before, understand that that's a powerful moment and the reason that that happened for you is because you knew you were in the situation where the answer was going to show up. It was just a matter of time. And because you became receptive to that, the answer showed up for you. Before the teacher even spoke, you got the answer. You knew what to do. This is the same thing. So whatever problem's facing you, perception is a higher faculty. We have the ability as God's highest form of creation to think of ourselves outside of ourselves. We can take on the view of somebody else. So you can use that with whatever thing that is facing you. You can say, how would, who's somebody that you know that would solve this problem easily? Whoever is important and powerful or in this fashion with you, you can sit them across the table from you and say, well, what would they tell me to do? It might be your mom, dad, uncle, aunt, somebody that you've read a book. If you've read an author a lot of times, you get to know that author and you start to think in terms of that author of this wouldn't be a problem for them. Well, what would they do? What would they tell you to do right now? How would they start taking steps to handle this? And could you start taking those same steps? You see what this does is it gets you outside of the box of you and the confines of you and believing what you're capable of and it puts you into the head of other people. It puts you into a different perspective. Perception, that's a, a higher faculty that we have that we can draw on any time. Another one is imagination. Imagination is one of the most powerful forces that we have and we used it so well when we were kids. But later as we got older, we stopped doing that because we were told to stop doing that. But we still have the ability to do it. And one of the greatest ways that you can use your imagination when you're facing a problem is what does it feel like once this problem has gone away? We're, we're figuring out right now how to draw the how to us. We're not figuring out the how. We've already ground it down and said, oh, you know what? I just This thing is perplexing me. I can't figure out the how right now. So what you're going to do is take a step beyond that and use your imagination to feel what it feels like to have the problem solved already. What does that feel like? 
Here's another great way to use your imagination. Imagine somebody talking to you about that you overcame that problem. Do you remember back when you had that trouble? Do you remember back when you had that problem? And now it's, it's so cool that, you know, that's, gosh, I'm glad that that time passed. And, you know, something good came from it. Because in anything, there's always good and things that we don't want, what we refer to bad. Think about the good that came from it. Take that moment in your imagination and springboard yourself to the future and feel what it feels like once you've just, man, I'm so glad that that's done. Let that feeling really seep in. Don't worry about the how. I know it tries to come in. Don't do that. The how will show up as long as you use your imagination to feel the joy of having overcome it. Now, another one is reason. Reason is our thinking ability. We have the ability to draw in this energy and then we form it and we take shapes on it. Well, we put shapes on it through our thinking, through our reasoning faculty. It's one of our most powerful uh, abilities too as humans. Like I said, we have the ability to think outside of ourselves. We have the ability to imagine ourselves into a different situation. But just ask yourself, how can I think about this completely different? I'm only coming at it from one point of view. Now ask yourself, if it, a good example is, is if you're in an industry and you in particular, your industry, your business is facing a problem and you just can't figure it out and you keep going at it and going at it and you keep running against the same problem. If you can think from that point of view that a lot of the greatest solutions that have come for other industries have come outside of their industry. Somebody else has come in and said, well, this is what we do with what, you know, it might be from the insurance business and then they're applying it to somebody that's personal training. But you find a solution through other avenues of how can I think completely different about this situation right now? How can I get outside of the box? What would I do if I, I absolutely just knew that this was no problem? That's a great way to just start viewing it. This is not a problem. What would I do? How would I think about it then? So that's your reasoning factor. When you use those three higher uh, faculties, perception, reason, imagination, and you begin to come up with a solution and you feel the good feeling of having overcome this, how good it feels to have solved this issue in your life, I know this isn't easy because when the problem is setting in, it causes all kinds of unrest in us. We just have to let that go because that's a feeling and that's drawing to you what you don't want. You have to set that down. And then you create this feeling and once you create this feeling, you can use the final one, the final higher fac uh, faculty that we're talking about and that's your will. People think about will and they don't understand exactly what it is. Will is your ability to hold your mind on one thing to the exclusion of everything else. And we think that that, oh yeah, I can do that. That's no problem. Well, think about it. If you just sat and stared at your finger, how long would it be until some other thought started coming in and you weren't thinking about just staring at your finger? For some of us, it's just seconds. That's a meditation thing and that's the development of your will. So use your will in conjunction with your perception, reason, and imagination when you come up with your solution and only think about that. To your best ability, hold your thought on your uh, solution, your feeling. It's really not words. It's a feeling because that's going to put you into that vibration. And when you use your will and you develop your will to hold that feeling, that's when the solutions in your life show up. Two things happen. You begin to condition yourself to receive it because you can see it, you can feel it now, and you understand when it's next to you, and you begin to put out the vibration that matches up with that. So everything that is in a solution orientation for you with whatever problem you're facing is going to be moving toward you too. That's the way that it all works. It's a simple way for facing a problem and changing it and not having to get into that downward spiral of this problem plagues me for months, years. Some people face this stuff for lifetimes. You can really shorten the duration 
of the challenge that you face by doing this simple process that I just shared with you today. Mind Move Manifest, I hope this serves you and serves you well, and I hope you go out there and get everything that you want.